in a world where I mean I could say something like they're, they're, they're trying to threaten snow this this week but that's <gasps> that's not that's not happening I hope not <laughs> I mean in a world where um oh anyone who's on the the Queen Street strip right now uh everything's about to be diverted because now they're actually making uh the Ontario line type thing or in a world where just to get through the intro here where everyone's being priced out right now Ooh. this is the vent mm-hmm. i'm one of your hosts del Nigero. we got the nerd z here now mr james will be calling in at some point yeah he's in the the hellhole called florida i mean shout, shout out to floridans but my fl woo Shout out to FL. Uh, Love y'all. The Haitians, the Cubans. Yes. Um, yes. The yeah. Alligators. Trust me. The Miami Flair. The Miami Flair. Orlando, Disney World, Disneyland. All that yes. stuff. Yes. Um, retirement homes, yes. The, <laughs> retirement homes. Retirement homes, yes. yes, yes. On the west coast of Florida, that's where all the homes are. The For, Wait, the west coast of Florida? Yes. Because East Coast is Miami, right? Yeah, that's Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So that's all the travel that's like tourism. The, that's the East. Mm-hmm. But the West is like... West side is more residential, more for people who are like seniors, the side and third. Very, very calm. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Um, State, yo, they had like... I was told this morning, um, I think f- uh, Fort Lauderdale. Mm. I said Lauderdale. Lauderdale. They had like 100 feet of rain in like... A span of a day or something like that. That's crazy. Right? So, I can't imagine... Florida would be nice to visit, but to live in... Uh, I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Good luck to y'all. <laughs> Good luck to y'all. As this, as this planet warms up. But anyways. Um, now, just wrapping up our previous uh, convo with the... Uh, with a few things that we were talking about previously. Previously, yeah. Like... Like, I noticed, like, our episodes now is a lot of, like, like we're giving y'all live updates of what's happening. Because the follow-up with uh, the episode last week with, with uh, who, did he, who did you represent? Mark Sanders, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, and we found out he was a conservative. Conservative, yeah. Yes, conservative. So, in a polling that's not official, it's not official polling, mm-hmm. it's just a, it's a speculation of, like, the top... Mayoral candidates in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Somehow he's in the fourth place. Yeah, he went from what, 20th? S- or 12th? Something like that. Somewhere. There was a two in there somewhere. So he's in uh, fourth place. And now he's in fourth place. Look at that. Look at God? We can call it that. I don't know. We could. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Bro, look at that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Um. If he does win, though, mm-hmm. would you think he would go through a redemption period to right the wrongs when he was a, a chief in Toronto? Um, if he does for Toronto. So my thing is his whole, a part of his, from reading some of the stuff, part of his campaign is to increase funding for the police um, and increasing certain things that I feel are not really all that important (laughs) yeah that's that's my personal opinion yeah that's uh hilarious to some other people um but (laughs) but um as we can kind of see that ttc clearly needs the cops to be patrolling because yo it's so it kind of yeah, makes me feel like, like maybe that whole defunding the police officers and now putting more push and emphasis in getting more pay towards or more of a budget towards the cops seems a little bit more reasonable. Right? Yeah. Only due to, mind you, I'm only saying only due to the fact that it seems like there have been a lot more um, claims of harassment, claims of violence and claims of stabbing. Just security it's, issues it's, it's secu- like, on TTC. Like it's, uh, it's out of that's, control, that's man. That's the reason. That's the reason. But 
for those who are wondering who and what the different parties within Canada are, we have the Liberal Party, the Conservative Party, Bloc Québécois, I'm a boo, I'm a boo. New Democratic I'm a Party, baby. and the Green the, Party. The new, De- the new Democratic Party? Uh, the yeah, New, new Dem- Democratic. That sounds recent. Like, when were they... No, that sounds like really recent for the. There's like, seven. Sorry, I only read five. Let me say all seven oh, for wait, you guys, guys. This is this news update to me. I don't know. There's seven now. There's yes. seven now. Yes. So there's the. They say the Liberal Party of Canada. Okay. Oh, there's been a few name, name changes as well. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. What? What is happening? There are some that I don't even think are even supposed to be here, but okay. 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 Um, let's read this. This is referencing from Wikipedia. There was the five that I named, which I grew up knowing and always knew from and have a familiar understanding of. Um, could be the New Democratic, but it was probably just considered a Democratic when growing up. Right. Right. But these names on Wikipedia seem to be very interesting Uh, do i really believe in it i don't know but supposedly you you don't even you don't even believe in it right listing the uh list of federal political parties in canada on wikipedia states the communist party oh whoa okay right and it had multiple names in canada it was founded as the communist party of canada who said that we weren't communists now? In 1921, right? It's a way, like way, way back. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then it, ooh, the name changed. So what it then turned into the Labour Progressive. Have you heard of that one? I've I've heard of that one, Labour Progressive Party, and that was changed in 1943, and it kept the name until present. Okay, that's. Yes. So then the next one is the Labour Party. And they ran under different designations. Under Conservative Labour, Farmer Labour, Farmer United Labour, Labour Farmer, Liberal Labour, National Labour, United Farmers Labour, United Farmers of Ontario Labour. At the end of the day, they Labour. Party. That's a, that's a lot of... Labouring. That's a lot of labouring, yeah. That's... <laughs> that's uh... Some dirty socks. <laughs> dirty gloves. That's a, that's a lot of... Right? Next one after that is the Liberal Party, which is what our current government is under, which is Justin Trudeau. Some people will boo to that. Some people will cheer to that. Right? No. Um, and they were used uh, designations as Liberal Labor, Liberal Labor Progressive, which we just realized earlier was under the name of Communist. Mm. So... That's not another one. National Liberal Progressive. Again, as we noticed, we kind of blindly voted into communists. I mean... So does this mean we're communists? Uh, I mean... I digress. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about... I think, they, I think they borrow, like, stuff here or there. But I mean... And then they kind of just say... But I mean... No, they, they, <laughs> no, no they, put a, they put a label to it, but, like... They would borrow something from communist, or they borrow something from republic, or they borrow something from socialist, and then they kind of just they stuff it under the banner. That's very interesting. The, the, the good parts. They, they they don't see. They don't grab everything. That's the thing. They don't grab everything. They just grab like well, what makes sense, right? This this may be true. Now, as for people, I'm not I'm not ignoring what she says. But what I'm trying to do is trying to figure out where this link is. I'm having a. a an old man uh, what? phone moment. Give, give me some time. Oh, okay. Well, um, while you're doing that, I'm going to continue reading the rest. Wait. So there's a new Democratic Party. And they were a new party from 1958 to 1961 while transitioning to become the new Democratic Party. In French, they are mm-hmm. used literal translation of its name, Fédération du Commonwealth Corporatif. And this was until 1955. 
So then next we have the Conservative Party, which is one that we are very well, very informed. <laughs> we know who they are. We heard all too many times. And they were considered, they came under different names um, and some of the MPs until 1911. Okay, so they were considered the Liberal Conservative Party until 1911. The Unionist Party, 1917 to 1921. National Liberal and Conservative Party, 1920 to 1921. National Government, 1940. Progressive Conservative Party, 1942 to 2003. Okay. And then they, I guess they went back to just Conservative Party after that. And then there was the Progressive Party and United Farmers. They also had a few name changes. Um, they were considered Farmer, 1925 to 1930, United Farmers of Canada, United Farmers of Alberta, or United Farmers of Ontario. Then this one, this one just takes me. I don't know who was the person who decided this decided. was the name. The, okay. The Rhinoceros Party. The Rhinoceros Party? That sounds... I feel like this is very much a nationalist wildlife type of party. Like like greenish party almost. Yes. They think about the greenery. They think about animals. They think about conserving animals, protecting the rights of the land and animals. That is what I'm getting. But I'm gathering that. But there's, there's, there's no rhinoceroses here. Like, they can't even... I don't even know if they can hang in the cold like that. Like, they... Like, okay. They picked the wrong animal for that. They know. did. But it was definitely disbanded. Just, like, this name. Um, in 1993. Oh, okay, then, okay. 93, okay. It got revived in 2006. And its name is now Neo Rhino. Neo Rhino, Okay. The party changed its name to Rhinoceros Party in 2010. So they're pretty alive and active. Well and alive. Like, yo, okay. That's, Skin um, tough, yeah? Okay. Uh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yo, yeah, why is that funny? <laughs> but <laughs> but no. Nah, um, okay, before you do it, I'm going to say the last one. So the uh, last one was the Social Credit Party and the, I guess this is French, Rallyement Credisti, Creditis, Creditis. Um, and they were from 1963 to 1967. That was really it. They just, they just disappeared into the shadows. Just, I guess. They fizzled out. Social somehow. credit party. Hmm. Why, why would they, a social credit? That sounds like. What they're doing now? Like in, you, 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 in China. Which is happening, it's kind of happening now. Yeah, that's what that sounds like. They give you a social like if um, it's it's like they hand you the gun, which is this. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, you make your own social media account, da da da. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, oh, you're you're doing dances, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're you're telling on yourself on live, okay. Mm-hmm. You're committing crimes on live, okay. So you're really giving a lot. Damn, you're doing a whole six thirty. You can see everything, li- I'm okay. Not doing a whole six thirty. <laughs> okay, but then they tie that all to like the social, the social credit. Mm-hmm. So. Oh man! When it's time to like get a bank, or I say get a bank, but get like a loan from a bank, mm-hmm. they'd be like the type of your name, and be like these accounts are linked with this person, and mm-hmm. uh, gonna throw a number out and be like your number doesn't da 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 da, da. Mm-hmm. you know not being qualified. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but you were saying now, now somehow Saunders is in fourth place from like the twentieth something, right? There are more parties. Okay, yes. But continue. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, you got Chow, Olivia Chow, in third place. Mm-hmm. You got uh, Matt Lowe in second place. And you got uh, Bilal. Bilal in uh, first place. So, with, uh, I don't know, with Matt Lowe in the lead, but, but barely. Matt Lau is a part of what party? I think that's the other part that people need to know. Like, what party are these people representing? Because I know Chow and her husband, Jack, Jack Layton, was NDP. Saunders is Khan. And then... Let's see what D registers. Okay. I think... I think it's either... I think it's either conservative or... 
I don't think there's anyone liberal running mm. for, for the top four right now. I think everyone's just oh. either con or NDP, man. No, honestly, there's a lot of, like, actual parties. I thought there were seven. There's more. There's more! So, wait, growing up, why would... So, they told us about... Only five. That's what I'm saying. Like, that they makes you... only told us five. Like, that makes you wonder. And are they all five? Are they about the same thing? <laughs> That's the thing. Like, the five are not... Okay, this is the thing. <laughs> when I don't know if green is still a thing, but green is still a thing. But they don't win anything. So basically, let's go to four. <laughs> then you have Black Quebec. Black, I said. Co- you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Quebecois. Quebecois. Mm-hmm. And even then, uh, people don't. People are not trying to hear what they're trying to say. So, it's NDP, Liberal, and then Conservative, right? Yes. Municipal policies. Okay, so MPs are very important to know. Right. So municipal party or municipal, yeah, parties are the individuals that are representing, like the number of people within that body of interests. Right? So if they have the Liberal Party, for example... If there's 156 people who believe in everything that the Liberal Party is doing, that is how many people are in the chamber of that. So, so here's the more. So it's Liberal Party, Conservative Party. So Liberal Party of Canada, Conservative Party of Canada, Bloc Quebecois, New Democratic Party, Green Party of Canada, Marijuana Party. That, oh, why would you, okay. Marxist Lenin's Party of Canada. The Ganja Party? That's Libertarian. Uh, and they're higher. That, the, the, mar, the Marijuana Party is literally right after the Green Party. So, the, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is order, right? Of how many people are actually in these, like. What does that tell you? Right? Um, they have the Marxist Lenin's Party of Canada, Libertarian Party of Canada, Christian Heritage Party of Canada. Communist Party, so they're still standing. Communist Party of Canada, People's Party of Canada, I've Rhinoceros heard, heard of Party. I've heard of People's too. Uh, Animal Protection Party of Canada. I don't know. Okay. Canada's Fourth Front. Who in heaven's name calls themselves the Fourth Front? <sighs> Parti de l'Independence du Quebec. Okay. Okay, that's uh, that was a little intense. I wasn't ready for that, but uh, okay. <laughs> C'est French. So, unfortunately, there are zero people in as MPs in everything down. But there are people in the Green Party of Canada, the New Democratic Party. So, there's two people in the Green Party of Cam- Canada. So, wait. So, the ones that are zero, like... Yeah, the ones that are mar- marijuana and down. There's, like, one. So, two, so three, why can't four, they just, like, five, disband six, and just seven, be, like... Eight, because they exist. They're running. But but they got no, no members in the team. Like. They don't got any MPs in the, in the chamber, but they're running. But there you, may be a prerequisite or a number that qualifies them. I don't know. It's like they're just, they're just there, just like... Just like almost in a coffin, like vampire style. Just, mm-hmm. just waiting for the, the seventh sign. And when the seven signs appear, they just, their eyes just open and they're like, it's time to get active. It's time to yeah. So get they, these seats. They have to have a house of... That's a terrible analogy. I, I'm sorry. I apologize, people. I don't know. I don't know. What happened? This, this, this wine is... I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, God, allegedly, I'm on wine. Allegedly. <laughs> That's but, um... Parliament. House of Commons. So they need to have people in the House of, of Commons. But if nobody's actually... It's still a work, right? At the end of the day, it's still work. So if these people of the marijuana party for example are like oh we now actually have to go into the state and have a rep or a seat in the house of chambers right if everyone is too high to go there why would you go there just because their name marijuana party <laughs> doesn't mean that they're high you are on so the right. job you are so right they Parents, may not be high on they the job are not, you know, but they may also not you. be in the house of commons because they couldn't get up Wow, so you're saying, <laughs> you're saying they're just in their bed, just sinking in, or they're they're watching themselves from the bed. They had. I'll tell you, way you did too much when you when you're watching much. yourself. You, you did way too much. Please come down. But just no, no. 
They could have had that hybrid. That's the reason why they're still in bed. The hybrid. Why would a hybrid keep you in bed like that? I don't know. I don't know how much people smoke these days. I don't know. A lot? A little? I don't know. They've, I mean, they've now gotten to liquid forms of uh, THC. I don't know. It's no longer just green anymore. It's not the bud. It's not the flower. These are the terms. Flower. It's... Beforehand, it was just a gram. Okay? That was it. That's funny. Did they, they just... <laughs> They, they named the sizes. Like, they just said, give me... Give me the quantity. And all of a sudden... So, yeah. No, all of a sudden, flavors started coming in. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. What do I know? Like, I've heard of... Oh, all the names. Now you know whether you want, the, you want the flower, you want the bud, you want the seed, you want the wax, you want the liquid, you want the capsule, do you want the candy? I don't know. It's a... What do I want? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Like, I heard absurd names like, like, um, Green Crack. First of all, something called Green Crack is crazy. You stay away from that. Yeah, that's... Stay away from that. It's no longer, what, what Or like, uh, Birthday Cake or something like that. Yeah, like, and that one's the one that's like, oh, people are forever looking for the seed of it and this and that. And I'd be hearing so many things about marijuana. It's crazy. So crazy. Like, these are things I hear. People are looking for seeds, looking to grow it on their own independently. Cause, you know, you know, I don't blame them because like you're you're seeing you're in control of what you're growing. Like you don't know if what you're buying at the dispensary has mold on it. You you don't you don't know. You don't know if the thing you're buying at the dispensary is dry up, dry up. Where you the minute you get home, it cr- it just crumples. You're like, I, what, what is this? You don't know, right? Not quality control. <laughs> no, but no, but that's but quality control is uh you gotta that's something you gotta think about. Think about, right? These are important things, man. I, I, I can see a lot of people easing off going. Wait a minute, let me reset. Let me find this. Like it feels like you're on a, on a quest. You're like, let me find yeah. the seed. Because then, if and you then, had to now approach marijuana from a high level business perspective, <laughs> that's cool. It's very different. These puns are crazy. <laughs> These puns are crazy, man. Like it. Like, you would have to approach it very differently. It's no longer just, you know, being on the corner and that's it. Like. Being on the corner, that is, you know. No one. You know. You know <laughs> people, are, people are just on the corner like that. Just, um. This is no longer. Just like, yo, yo, I got that, I got that thing. You got, you got that. Right? right? What are you talking about? Beforehand, now you can walk into a store and it's a whole business. Marijuana is a business. So. Assuming that store doesn't close. Assuming. Because some, because, uh, I don't know, it's like you see one on like every block and then eventually they're just like. Yeah. It's like they're saying what, they're eating each other now? Because it's like. Yeah. It's like how black people have uh, restaurants back to back or barbers. Why? Mm. In the same block. Why? That is, uh, um, leave a comment below. I, what, why is that a thing? No, but, okay, no, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I got to go to different cultures now because you would have, I'm pretty sure I've seen a dry cleaner. No, yeah, no, I've, I've definitely seen dry cleaners on um, one block here, another block here, another block here, another block here. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah, but that's like one side, other side, other side versus on the same side you're seeing three. Okay, our our particular, <laughs> no, 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 our particular one. Uh, I, uh, depends when you go in the, in the city. Like, you got like. Never made sense. Two or three. Okay. On the same. Jeez, I can't even. I can't even like lie. Like egg, eggs is like. <laughs> no eggs is like whole. This is a good trivia for those listening at home. <laughs> you say this is a trigger. This is, this is a good trivia. Oh, trivia. On egg and, jeez, how far can we go? Let's just, let me keep it simple. Egg, mm-hmm. I'm the egg and oak mm-hmm. to Marley. How many barbershops and salons are there on that particular block? Strip. Mm-hmm. Leave a comment in, uh, in below. Uh, you may get $10. May. You might, you might definitely get five, but, if you, but you, you may get 10 One strip alone. Because <laughs> right now, yo... <coughs> If I'm going off, mem- like, it's got to be over, there's no way it's over 10. It, it can't in be over 10. In that area? 
That 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 aerial. There's no way it's ten. You'd be shocked. No way. You'd be shocked. There's no yo. There's no <laughs> way. In, <laughs> it's so weird. Like that. No, there's no way an egg and oak. It's, yo, you would be so shocked. But I, I'm I'm thinking now. It sadly, might be. No, but you have to be mixing up the the supply store. You have to, but that's unfortunately not true. This is why it's important to know your economics. I don't, I don't <laughs> know, man. I don't know. Oh, but if at any point you do visit, definitely see how many are on one side of the road. Yo, it's actually like... You'll notice. Monopolizing property, if there's one thing you know about monopoly, you know how to spread out your, your stuff. I mean, and buy in a way where you're actually like producing more value because instead of competition. Right, right, right. Right. Like, like there's no reason why we would have like prime example, Randy's, Randy's patty. If there was another patty shop right beside Randy's, it would have made no sense. But yes, there's, Ta- okay. there's culinary, like there's food restaurants down right. the street. The, the, technically, there's another patty shop. Yeah. Further down. Yeah. On the same... But it's like, why compete? Right? They specifically, exclusively made themselves just a patty shop. Yeah. There's food venues down the street. So you're competing with food altogether. Right, right, but right. But they exclusively said, we specialize in patties. Right. Which, for those growing up, uh, they did sell food. No, people would buy food there yeah, too. But, it, but it wasn't it wasn't their, their forte. Yes. It was not. No, it was like, yeah. you come get this patty... If you're a construction worker working on the LRT, please finish now. Um, you would walk into Randy's and then you see a, the, a person in their high mm-hmm. visible vest or dirty work boots and like, yo, give me a dozen of this. Mm-hmm. Give me a dozen of that. Mm-hmm. And it's the same like even Main Shaw. Main Shaw was also a food place, also a food venue in the space. Same strip, but specialized in the $5 package. E- yeah, the tuning chooser, yeah. That crush, when that happened, that came out. As long as I know, since like. No, it's been like. Therapy. Yo, like years. That's what I'm saying. So since I've known. So I didn't start going there to like. I didn't start going until high school. That's what I'm saying. But I knew people who would go there since middle school. Since middle school, really. Wow, that's news to me. Mm -hmm. But something, something, a kickstart must have happened because like, right when I was um, introduced to it. But like a group of friends or whatever, they're like, oh, let's go to this place one day. And then we're walking, we're taking the back way from our high school. Mm-hmm. We hit the eggs, eggs for Eggless and West, not, not eggs that you buy at the store or eggs that come out of chicken. Like egg, egg short for Eggless and West. But we hit the strip, we go, and then they're like, why is there a line up here? Mm-hmm. Normally, normally the line, no, and growing up, the lineup part was always Randy's. It was always went. But then yes. like, what's this other place with the lineup? With the now? lineup. So then you go, we go, uh, we go in there, and it's like, yo, it's a line mm-hmm. up. And we're just, we're just out in the there. Door. Out the door. Mm-hmm. Right? And then we order the food, and you eat it, and you're just like, I understand why mm-hmm. there's a line up. Mm-hmm. Right? And then from then on, it was like, mm-hmm. people would go there, yo, mm-hmm. order me this, order me mm-hmm. this, order this, and then mm-hmm. they'll send some out. Mm-hmm. To get like a whole... Like an, like a casing, like a bag. A casing, right? Like you would be you. Th- this was Shout Uber driver. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, this was Uber driver before Uber existed. Okay, it was the one person on foot. <laughs> the main the main shows that's on uh, Orpheus Road. I don't know what's going on with y'all. That's a separate thing. I know it's the same name <laughs> and everything. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but because we've seen a lot of. Uh, yeah, we 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 send our stuff. We send. Our prayers. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Please say that, please. But nah. But yeah, I mean, you could definitely check a, a previous episode where I went in depth about the food at Main Shot and the experience. We go through a whole memory lane of what you could have, what you could expect at Main Shot, how the menu changed, what it is now, some of the prices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you just get to see the evolution of the food and what it is and what it is now. Or today. Right, yeah. But. Back to uh, Mr. Saunders in mm-hmm. Fort Place. You know, is he gonna bring back Randy's patties? Look, man. <laughs> all I'm saying is a rumor. I don't know when we're gonna reveal it, but there's a rumor that um. That's funny. 
Well, what's what's the Game of Thrones saying? What can't be killed may never die. Mm. And I'll just say, Randy's is not dead yet, and I'll leave it like that. Um. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. It's like, I, I'm gonna behave now. Um, Saunders. Um. I don't know. I mean, it's just going back to like, what are these people going to do? I mean, like, what what is the role of a mayor anyways? Do we even know? What input do they have in our city? Do we even know? I swear they lost so much powers like over the years. Like honestly, Brampton's mayor, he be doing the most. Oh, pa- I see oh, this guy at Patrick, fashion shows. Patrick okay, Brown. I see him everywhere. There's no way that a stone is unturned without seeing him there. So he 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 too will be at the fete. He is involved. Yes, he, he will be at a fete. He, he will take the pictures with the girls. What? He will be at the fashion show. Yo, those saying are, hello, hi everybody, good evening, good night. Those, I'm your host. Like, uh, yeah. Our previous episode, those Rob Ford pictures. Yo, those were hilarious. I didn't think he, I seen a particular type of one, but I didn't think he was really in. He he was in it like that. There's so many pictures of him at Carnival of a. Uh, our ex mayor Rob Ford, who he was passed away. He was involved, like, yeah, man, like, with the suit and tie still. <laughs> with the suit and tie, <laughs> no, it'll, it'll, it'll get hot that day. He'll take the jacket off, but it'll, he'll he make sure he's still got the tie on. He's the the tie may be a little, the, the tie may be a little loose and maybe a one two button open, but Ooh, that was actually funny. The man did not come with shorts. No, he did not. That came with dress pants, yo. Dress pants. Catching catching waistline. Yo. Sweating <laughs> on the roads of Toronto, yes, doing Caravana, yes. I don't know, man. This, this city is like it's like in free fall mode. I mean, can we see Saunders in, in uh, Caravana? Oh, no, he, I, I, <sighs> shipping down the road, uh, holding and masquerading. I'm not saying he'll be there because he's, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I you know what? I'm gonna go with the upset. I don't think he'd be the type to be like you know, he, he, to be involved. He looks at the type to be like eh, that's a little too too much. That's a little too much for me. You know, yeah. I, I don't think that's his uh, thing he swings with. Yeah. I think he's just like uh, you know, shirt buttoned up to the neck, mm. pants below the nipple type mm. of guy. Who yeah. just who <laughs> <laughs> just uh, you know sits at home. Newspaper in hand, mm. crossing the leg, with a, a glass of like something. Like he looks like that type of guy. Like not really, you know. Got you. Um, a little bit more stoic. Is, uh, stoic. Yes. S T O I C. Which country is that? Dutch. French. Uh, English word. It's an English word. Scottish word. It's, it's pretty English. Irish. Well, I, I don't. Know if I, Let me. I don't, I, don't, I don't think people. I don't think people <laughs> from Ireland would. Stoic. Was it stoic? Stoic. Stoic. Yes. S T O I C. And it means a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining. A member of the ancient philosophical uh, school of stoi- stoicism. Wait, stoic. Yeah. The easy. Okay, that's that's like you, you tricked me. Hmm? You said you said stoic. Yeah. I uh, sort of stoic, like stoic, like. I guess. Stoic, yeah. stoic. Can you believe it? People pronunciation. Like, eh. Pronunciation. That's crazy. Man. And I said the word pronunciation wrong, but it's <laughs> don't mind me though. Um, but who are the other people running up? Like, who's in first place right now? Someone named uh, Matt. Matt Lowe. And what party is he representing? So Matt Lowe represents. Hold on. If he comes out with that theme music, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's the the right move, but like low, 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 low. That's uh nah bro. I'm trying to see. I'm seeing a lot of Matt Lowe's. <laughs> Matt Lowe's. <laughs> oh he's a okay. Just, just a, just a quick flash of like information. Mm. I mean, Toronto Sun calls him an anti-police record, which is interesting. Anti-police record. It's like anti-police. Okay. Went to the Toronto Sun. 
Josh Matlow. Okay. Josh is the first name. <clears throat> no, I just want to see party. What does what does he represent? Right? These are all very important informing questions. What is he going to do for this for the city of Toronto? The people want to know. Matt, what are you going to do for us, the people of Toronto and Scarborough and Etobicoke and downtown, maybe possibly York? <clears throat> Anyways, for the people. No, that, 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 that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how you just were like, you weren't even sure. You're like, you're like, you're like wait a minute. <laughs> downtown? Down, downtown? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Right, that would be the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> that is that that is actually for you know, that is a skit right there. <laughs> nah, yo, we're lucky. Okay, just so, to end the Toronto segment, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um apparently May first, like on the Queen Street, like five oh one. Infamous mm-hmm. an infamous street card, you'll see all types of stuff. Mm-hmm. But apparently it's diverting now because like Metrolink is creating the quote unquote Ontario line. And it's like. So, what does that mean? Does this mean I get to travel on Ontario? I'm not quite. I'm, I mean, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not, not quite. It's the base <laughs> for me. Oh, that's so funny. If that is, if that ever exists, that'd be great. Like, hold on. So, just a whole train system that I could just travel Ontario for? What? I mean... What do we need a plane for? They should they should really get on that. Like, yo, it may sound weird to y'all, but I'd rather, like, if an accident were to happen, I'd rather do it in the, the 500 miles per hour train where just you just blink your eyes or you're somewhere in space <laughs> as opposed to, like, an airplane where you... It's going down and you have to kind of, like... Wait for your your landing before you can do anything. Like, well, if you, no, if it's crashing, you can't do nothing. Like, that, that's it. That's it. You have to like hold hands with someone that you, you may not like, and and then people are praying and everything. And it's like, yo, that's... you hit the water, and water is concrete because of how physics work. Or you hit the forest. Yes. You have to end up so cynical. Jeez. If you, you, have to, you have to end up eating people to survive. Not and stuff eating like. people. <laughs> but cannibalism. Based on this true story, I forgot what flight it is. Look it up. So they had they, they had to they crashed somewhere and they had to like eat each other eat each other to survive. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> why, oh no! Why just, oh no! <laughs> what did, Whoa! Yo, that, that, was, that, that threw me off. Threw me off there. <laughs> so the Ontario. Oh shoot, that's 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 deep. Hold on. So the Ontario line. Mm-hmm. So they're starting from downtown. Uh, exhibition. Okay. So, so that's you, Dufferin and. Um, Queensway? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Is it good? right before the highway? Which is oh, after yeah. King. There's, there's so much there's so much yeah. from Corey. Okay. <laughs> no, the the Gardner hold on, I'm, I'm gonna get into that too yeah. because But yeah, it's starting from Ontario place, which is like, okay, that's cool. You can kinda mm-hmm. you know, do your little ex- exhibition thing and then take mm-hmm. and then it'll stop at Osgood. Mm-hmm. So this is good because it bypasses. It's, a, it's just a bypass thing. Like right. we're trying to move traffic along, right? And then next stop is Queen, of course. Mm-hmm. But anyone on five hundred one that needs to take it, like, is being diverted. Mm. So, I mean, so it's like a downtown yeah. type of transit because it's true. It sucks having to go onto the subway and you can't even get on. You can't the 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 closest subway. T would be Dufferin. And it's only a bus. Right, And the yeah. bus then has to go all the way up to Bloor. So you have to pass King, Queen, uh, College, sorry, Dundas, College, before you can actually approach Bloor. Luckily, luckily Dufferin, the, the, one of the greatest things it did is like, um, Dufferin has the Express. Mm-hmm. So that, that cuts, that cuts a lot of time out. Mm. But I understand like, yo, like your next, mm-hmm, yeah, you don't really have a... Because basically, yeah. like... Bloor would be it. But now, it'll keep going. What does it say? East Harbor. Okay, it'll go through East Harbor, and then it'll hit Pape. It'll hit the Bloor line. Who goes to Pape? Sorry, that was... 
I'm and sorry, then, if you do go to paper, I apologize. And then it'll go with the other LRT, which, please finish, um, the Eglinton LRT at Ontario Place. But it'll oh, stop there. Oh, by Don there. Mills and... Yeah, yeah, by Don Mills, Don Mills Eglinton-ish. By Ontario Place? So it'll, it'll basically be going like that. Interesting. So I guess they're thinking is like, okay, boom, you, you hit here, you take the LRT, you fly to Scarborough and then you go to Ajax, Midland, whatever. Or you hmm. take the Bloor line for some reason and then you... But why not start in Etobicoke? You see, that's, because... that's a smart person answer. Because there is Lower Etobicoke. And lower Etobicoke is very hard to navigate to. It's just buses. That is... Um, it's just buses. They're supposed to make a... Like, they already have the plan of Mississauga LRT. Like, it's already mapped out and everything. Yeah. It's just they, they haven't got to it yet. Like, if you ever go to Lower Etobicoke, where the IKEA is... Baby. Oh, you're, oh you're, going, you're going Lolo. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Baby, that is a huge IKEA. If I have to carry that away for a bus, because I don't yeah. have a car, I must be upset. That is... That's crazy. But basically, like, people in the... People in the... Li- whoa, whoa. Now, Hello? we have we have James uh, entering our other co-host. Um, I hear I hear loud slaps in the background. What, uh, what's going on back there? Is this is slapping? I mean, it, it's it's stopped now. Uh, oh, sorry, it's my it's my chain on my um, on my mic. I'm sorry. It, that oh, that was a chain on the mic. Okay, that's. Oops, I'm sorry. That's I'm a, sorry. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hello. It was on the mic. It was just, you know. <laughs> was, uh, hello, H- hello, y'all. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, Hope you guys are having a pleasant light. Um, um, this here. <laughs> sure, what's up? Huh? How, okay, okay. How is uh, Florida currently? Is it a, uh, is it hell there's, a flood, there? there's, there's a flood in Florida, Lauderdale. Lauder, Lauderdale. Which I was, flood. Telling, I was telling you. I'm in the flood. I, I'm stuck in the flood. I want to be in the flood. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't have to Webby, but um, nah. Um, I heard it was a hundred feet of rain, and like, I just started to realize how big like states are because yeah. it rained over here, but it wasn't like in I Miami? don't see no type of flood over here. Yeah, it doesn't even look like a flood. It's hot as hell. It, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's swamp, that, swamp booty. Nah, man. Was, so wait, you're like, in Fort Lauderdale. No, I'm in Orlando. Oh, oh. You see how far Orlando is? Yeah, and that's the crazy part. It's crazy. Because I've seen... So when you're looking on the map, you're just like, hmm, I, can, I think I can drive that. I honestly thought it was like me coming from Toronto to go to Scarborough. Basically, but no, I didn't literally know thought you thought it was that. No. But then I realized <laughs> it's really me going from Toronto to Sudbury. To yeah. Sudbury? Yes. <laughs> It's funny because I was, was looking. Sudbury, Sudbury is where again? That's south, right? That's north. That's north. What's the equivalent of south? So that's like going south from would be like Toronto to like past Niagara. Oh, past. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's not bad. But it's not even that. Like Sudbury, going to Sudbury is more like the conditions to go to Sudbury too. Mm-hmm. You're not just driving on a simple mm-hmm. highway. You're going through some. Mm-hmm. Some oh, some sightseer. areas oh, where like terrains, like if you if you break down, <laughs> yeah, that's you and whoever I'm there the wildlife out there. <laughs> and there's but, a um, there's a lot of wildlife too. Yeah, I seen a couple of reptiles over here. It, I'm right beside like an alligator um swamp thingy. You're beside is, an alligator, uh, like the swamp. Like there's a swamp over here, like a swamp area. Um. It's just so interesting. It's interesting because it's like I look at the videos at Fort Lauderdale mm-hmm. and all that flood water, and I'm out here, and it's like you couldn't even tell that it rained. Mm. That's how that's how big it is. Uh, yeah, it's far. Oh. Like it's far and very very like what? No, because I went to both. Right when I when I visited Florida, I went to Fort Lauderdale first, and then I went to Orlando. Right. 
And the bus ride was like three and a half hours. A bus ride? Yeah. No, it's not fun. <laughs> Why are you throwing me off? It's not, I a can bus, tell it's not fun. A bus and ride? And it's hot. Was three and a half mm-hmm. hours. What? And I really thought, I literally thought, I was like, oh, the most this is going to be like an hour and a half. No. Nope. nope. No. Three and some hours. Like, mm-hmm. later. And that's when your leg starts to cramp up. I mean, and then you're just like, I mean, you, you, oh, man. You must be so like, Three hours cramped in there? Holy. Me. If you look at the map, yeah. I said, this map is a lie. Who drew this? That, they need to show That's where your legs start to cramp up. That is... And Miami, Miami is like Niagara. It's another two hours away from Fort Lauderdale. And Miami is literally kissing the like the end, right? Yeah. So I don't remember where I was before. I went. I came. I came to Florida last year, but mm-hmm. I don't remember where I was. But I remember going to Orlando was like it was a it was a it was it was a drive. Mm-hmm. I just don't remember where I was in or um, Florida, but. Um, it's been all right over here. It's humid. Like, it's hot. Like, it's hot. Right. Like, I forget that I could get so much sun, like, you know? No, like, mm-hmm. like... Mm-hmm. Cause it's close to the Caribbean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but what is the weather out down here? What is it? How is it down there? I, I it, was, it was nice I mean, as nice. F today. It is great. It was nice today. Oh. We, like, we just skipped you... spring altogether over here. No, that's no, but that's what, it, <laughs> that's what it feels like, though. It's like, as soon as April hit, it just... 26? But do you think there's a chance it might snow again? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they say no. They say the that. Calling, no, <laughs> no, no. They you guys say that. With the man. <laughs> no, they say it, but like, no. It's gonna be. It's gonna dip to like, like a thirteen, and it'll just go right back to seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. Like, yeah, like that's this. the lowest I see it. Like maybe seventeen. Se- thirteen to seventeen is the lowest. Oh. And you'll have to wear a jacket, but I doubt it. Right? So it's like back in the day when we had like recess and lunches, like, yes. oh, we gotta hang our jackets on the fence. Yeah. Right now, just to wrap up the Toronto segment, we there's a poll, it's, it's not official official, but Saunders is in fourth place. How do you feel about that? Yeah. And he's almost. He's, he's almost, the last time we spoke, he was like what, twentieth or twelve? Yeah, he's he's up there with uh, Olivia Chow, Josh Matlow, and uh, Bilal. Uh, Bilal, you. I didn't even know you guys are uh, able to like vote and have predictions, or is it like? I think I think they're just people are pre pre voting thing. That not means. not advanced, but they're like you know how people just they try to. Guess out who and what the reading of who is. Uh... They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're reading they're the. Trying to guess the read. So you're telling me there's an election betting um, line going on. Election betting. That's crazy. That would be. That's crazy. Wouldn't that be illegal? Hello. Well, I mean, that'd be pretty interesting. You know, top four, top four. Um, if you get all top four, you win like a quarter mil, no, or more than a quarter mil. I don't know. That would be. I don't you could to. bet on anything nowadays, so might as well. <laughs> Politics, go nuts. <laughs> but um, I mean, if that's the case, that Chief Saunders is like fourth. I mean, that campaign he did, I guess, is working to whoever it's working for. The, the, the color grading um, work is just that camera work though. The camera work but, is just undeniable. <laughs> I think Child tomorrow is announcing hers that she's running. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, but another thing from the outside looking in, oh, oh, oh. I think I think people need to realize that I know there's a lot of people that don't care about voting, mm-hmm. and they're kind of like, yeah, politics and this, that, and all. You know, it's everybody knows who the winners are and whatever, whatever. I think you guys should vote. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, like for real, because I mean, I this, I mean. Just, just do, just to the fact that at least if you guys have your opinions shared or whoever you believe is going to be a good person, you know, I see Chloe Brown talking about something like that, and I, you know, I, I rate Chloe Brown in a sense because it's like she's part of the working class, you know right, what I mean? Right. So she knows what it is to get a minimum wage and a and a two week job and a two week paycheck, and then mm-hmm. you'd be like, oh my gosh, I worked. 
in my ass off this first week, and I only got this much. You got this for you. Right, right, right. And then it's like, what? This is, this is only 30 hours? <laughs> yo. Like, what? It's, you know what I mean? I that's so, very real. Or, or 25.5 for two weeks, and it's like, oh, no, now I got to stretch this. Mm. You know what I mean? Because taxes eat it off, and you're not even going to get it back. Because, and, of course, you don't even get it back in real life because they say they're going to use it for something, and they don't. Mm. And, uh, the, amount of, the amount of taxes they're using, they could have helped housing for people, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Or healthcare, and not worry about privatizing and actually getting people to get their stuff done. Mm. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I think you, you probably might need somebody to break down some things that are going on because it's, it, it's, it's too much organized. It's like an organized crime syndicate in a sense. Oh, okay. Like, and you need someone to come, like, you can't call it crime because it's politics, right? right. I guess. Ah! I guess it's like, it's <laughs> if, it's, if it's the government, I mean, it's not really a crime to kill people and leave people homeless. But, hey, yeah, what do you know? Now, um, a weird sidebar with this. You, see, you heard about the story um, where houses in Vaughn got burned down? No, I didn't. Yes, yes, I heard it up here. Tell I heard about it. I seen it. Really? Tell me more. All so, the it was like um, it, it's it was like twenty houses, right? Yeah. That just burned, and it was, and it was like a cluster. Mm. It was like a group burning. Mm. And I like how people in the comments immediately just went, yeah, that's insurance. Someone didn't get paid, and they just went, in golf. And it may be. And it may be. And it may be. It's hard to tell. You think it's a townhouse, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Because maybe it's one of those things that they're like, oh, man, I'm like, yeah. what? It's like a townhouse. You're, yeah. telling me, you're, telling me, you're telling me this house is not going to be built by the time? Oh, my money was on this. Where's the gas? <laughs> Yo, the that, other part too could be somebody. So where's the game? <laughs> the other part but, could be um, somebody just like trying to prove that the infrastructure of those houses are trash. Which oh, that's well, that's that's pretty. Thing about it. That's a little this risky. Is all, this is all alleged. That's, just, just it's say alleged. Alleged. Just alleged. Say that word alleged. Yeah, but that's alleged. a that's a little jokerish, riskiness. <laughs> But I mean, that's one of the biggest things that are uh, high on the concerns of politics. Just how like housing, how housing infrastructure is poorly done here, and that we need to have protocols in place so they're better. Right, right, right. But here's the thing: because it's fun, they have their own type of politics. Mm, you know see, what I mean? That's, that's this is this is true. If, but in Canada, like, like the, one up in Toronto, the federal. Yeah, you're gonna want you're just like that construction um, company that was dealing with the whole roads. Not even the whole um, rent. If, if the if a construction <laughs> company can be found out about them videos of them having that that infamous retirement party. Mm. Oh, okay. 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 In no way, they're not gonna find out what's going on in the bond burning, like mm. especially where people's money is in mm, stake that in is... that type of thing. When the lawyers start coming up, the lawyers start showing up. You might, imagine you paid for that house and you're just like, what do you mean it burned down? No, some people will be like, what do you mean it burned down? But this is some of them will be like, well, I was paying insurance for it anyway, so mm. so what what does it happen for me? You know what I mean? But then it's the whole, ba- I don't know how the housing stuff work and how it's stuff because maybe they were like, well, technically they pay for all the house, so therefore, like, you never know how, you know. The stipulations. It's, it's just yeah. the contract law and all that stuff is where everything starts. That's when you want to see the battles. Right, right, right. Because what, cause another thing I read, um, just to almost wrap this topic up, um, they're knocking down older condos that are better built. They're knocking them over and then they're re-structuring uh, them. Mm-hmm. Look, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I feel like they're just doing that because it's just easier to one for supplies and then two. If you've been a smaller, you've been in a room this size. Yeah. Right. As long, yeah. It's like it's like it's like it's like repackaging on groceries. Yeah. Wow. That's you know what I mean? inflation. If you, if you still have a solid foundation, or if Oreos is Oreos, Oreos will forever be Oreos. Yeah. Right, if you just change the product and change the sizing, take all two Oreos, you mm-hmm. save money every two Oreos you sell. Mm-hmm. The Oreo yeah. box you sell, so mm-hmm. little by little, yeah. Facts. Who cares if they, they don't need two a double sink? Facts. Give them one sink. Yeah. Wow, that's like the Apple Apple um, um, structure. 
every we year. Bathtub. The bathtub. same thing. Give them a shower. Standing shower. Nice increase. Same we thing can't even bend to shower. Yeah. You can't, can't even bend. They can't even bend to shower. That's a real... And what? have them pay for the hydro too. Pay for the hydro and the water. That is actually... Meters right. everywhere. Pay Meter for, them up. Pay for condo fees that they can just up at any time. Yo, that whole, that whole condo thing... I, Parking. Condo fee and property parking. fee. And, yeah. and parking fee. And the lot. Let, park, let parking be half the side, half the price of rent. Oh, let's, let's do that. Let's, 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 let's just, we need to make, we have to make this subscription base. So we always make money out of this. Come on, guys. No, but like some of those, no, some of those electric vehicles you use, they do have subscription. Yeah. Yeah, like to unlock features and everything. Yeah. I was even hearing there's some houses that you can't even buy outright. Like, it's like... Yeah. Buy to, buy to rent? Buy to rent, yeah. Buy to what? Yeah. Like, or get owned to rent? What? Or some... Or some, rent some, to own. Like that's that. what it is. Like rent to own. Like, it's, like, it's like the iTunes of housing. Yo, that's... Wow. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like... The just, iTunes of housing. That's a like, sad you description. Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, you're paying for the house, but this ain't your house, though. You're paying for the house, but it ain't your house. What? You can't even take it with you. Because not everybody can afford a house. Like, and buy the house outright. Or rent, or pay. Or to pay outright. Right. But it's, it's a harsh reality of, you know, things going on. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. And it's interesting because I swear last year, like, I thought about so much things. Like, even the housing market and stuff. Last year, they were talking about banning gas stoves. Mm-hmm. Yes, they were. Yeah, they were kind of. Like, we got to jump ahead of these people trying to join forces. You know what I mean? Even fireplaces. Or, yeah. Oh, oh, they're going that far. Mm-hmm. People, I, I, and that's the thing, you know. I don't know. Cottages? I, they're coming for you. They come for you, man. It all comes down to anybody trying to hold somebody's money down, you know? That's it. If they can guarantee you that the money is yours, they're going to take it from you. Mm. Right. If they know that you have the owner of the money, just like, you know, they, oh, this is all your assets? This is all your money? All right. So little time. We're just going to take that all. Mm. Give me the money, mm. you know? Now, for a, we have an interesting relationship segment. Uh, very, very interesting. That reminded me of the the soccer player. The so, now, the James. Oh, you guys see what I did there? You guys see what I did there? <laughs> but James okay. just explained the the divorce, divorcing in the process of divorcing between soccer player. I don't even remember his name. Um, and I didn't wife. know how to pronounce it myself. Atraf Hakimis. Yes. That hey, I got so that right. Funny. Funny. Yeah, so what a, what a scenario. Did. Yeah, because um, the wife is trying to get half, like, like you know. Right, divorce so, him and get half yeah, you know? of the properties that are under his name or that he owns. Mm-hmm. Right. I put a quote, air quotes on that. Mm-hmm. And then the wife just found out he owns nothing. Nothing. And has all and almost everything, allegedly, under his mother's name. That's What? His mother is the owner of the properties and I guess has the coverage or deeds of these properties and lands and stuff like that. Damn. This is what I'm going to say about this situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's so many things about this situation. Here's the first thing that came to my mind when I heard about it. When I heard about this situation, you know what song that came to my mind? Mm. Big timers, I stay fly. Because mm. everything is in my mm. mama name. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm rich because I stay fly. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a reality. <laughs> everything in my sick. mama's name. Wow. So. The wife married the wrong person. So, right? That's the. Like, Facts. <laughs> so, the other part of this, too. There are so many things that you can play on when you deconstruct this whole dynamic. Because... <laughs> I, that guy, I'm going to say this. <sighs> that guy was playing chess. That's one thing well, that came to my mind. I think, no, his, so, his mom has the eagle eye, for sure. This is, this is the thing. Yeah. So yeah. the parts that people are saying that why this is now being overshadowed or overshadowing the alleged rumors that he is actually going to court oh for all for um let's, let's say essay 
Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, 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 so they're saying all that. the whole the whole purpose and the reason why she is filing for divorce is because allegedly that there has been some with misman the, mishandling with, with women with women yeah sorry yes it what? was yes yeah, so misman so harassment without consent mm -hmm. and um, I'll say I'll say sa I'll say extreme sa yes. and, and leave it at that wow. and then cheating with multiple people. So there's yeah. multiple cases where this has happened allegedly and that is what triggered her to file for divorce. Right. But you know it's a problem now. She's now the proprietor like or the the right. what you call? Right. The the highest earner? She's the higher earner in this situation. So now she has to settle her money. Right. Oh. Right. So this is an Adele oh. Adele situation. Right? Because oh. because now that happens, she is considered on paper the one who has the more money, oh. and would have to then give Yo. half her money to him. Right. So who's the real gold digger here? Well, hmm. <laughs> that's a good. You know what's the problem? You know what's the problem? It's it's kind of like man. <laughs> That is yeah, interesting. Hell, hell is going to be hot. Well, I can definitely hell say both of them are looking at each other. No, but you know, it's clear, yeah, both of them are looking at each other like... Like, they were definitely looking like at each, each other, other like, the, the how can I get what from each other? Right. It's, it's too bad. Like, really, sure. like, some relationships these days are, like, very transactional. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very, like... Well, of course. Right? I, I mean, that's, I think that's I think just what two, it is. I think they have two kids together, I think. Yes. But so. it's not that, as if she doesn't have a high-earning or high-paying job. That's the thing. Yeah. So we can't yeah, sit here and say that they both that has a higher paying job. Well, because so she of thought, the so she situation. Thought. So she <laughs> no, no, no. Because of the situation as it stands, out of the both of them in the relationship, if he was the sole owner of his assets, income, and other stuff, he would be the one who has the higher income. But due to the fact that he has offsetted a lot of his assets and has and doesn't actually hold any, I guess, probably majority of his accounts. Therefore, it's not in his name. So then she yes. then becomes the person who has the only money dealings available, right? The other part of me was thinking of this was, is he a mama's boy? I mean, hold on. You just crazy? I don't think he has to be a mama's boy for that to happen. You could just be playing the smart move. Maybe it's a cultural thing, but maybe it's a... If you really think about it, when I read this situation, I kind of went, hmm. Because they showed pictures of him kissing his mom and everything. Now, I don't know what type of... That's why I asked. Could, Is he a mama's boy? No, but it could be cultural, too. You know what I mean? Cultural I for all boy, your investments mama, to be given to your mom? Well, put it like When you this, have a wife? Kind of if you think hey, about it... Hey. Which culture it, tells it, it, you it, that? Hold on. If you look <laughs> at it now... <laughs> It's technically in his favor now. Look how the look how the, the look how the table has turned. I'm not saying no. It's in his favor. I'm not gonna sit here, especially if you're going on the hopes of if at any point my partner is going to take advantage of me and divorce me. Perspective. Right. I have my safeties. Yes. If I'm gonna look at it from a cynical way that this person is not in my corner, for sure, he's covered. But yeah, not looking at it from a cynical way and just looking at it from a, this is what it is, leave the skepticism aside. His, you know most of his money is with his mom. How many guys can just, out of the blue, to this day, and I read the comments. I read the comments of all the guys who are like, I woo, woo, like, woo. I've seen the YouTube comments and stuff and they're I like, read them. Oh. That's not a bad idea. Right? But no. how many of these same, same guys who are like, ooh, are he did such a smart job. Like right? But how many of these guys could actually say that they can, they can trust their mom to give all of their earnings to their mom plus their assets? That's mm. one. And then two, how many of their moms actually can do that and be okay and has a stable people. like amount of like whatever financial understanding, stewardship, etc., to be able to govern this money too. 
How many guys you know, like, can say they trust their moms like that? I mean, time, I think it. it hey, I, I can say it, no. I can say a good a few. It, some could trust their mom. Sometimes it's just they're just holding the money, though. They're I only know two it. guys out of ten you guys. I, mean? I only know two guys who could do that. So okay, let's okay, let's go. Let's go with the thing. So twenty percent. Yeah. They'll be like, you know, nah. They, they could give everything to their mom. You know what I said? Everything. Okay. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Everything. No, no, I, 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 but if he, it's one of those things that. And still married. He could, but here's the thing: if he could still use his money, and they like, it's one of those things that if they have an agreement, because sometimes it is cultural, and then they could still pull out and pull whatever need to pull. It's like, hey, I spend it, whatever. So people do that stuff. I think, me personally, I think the main issue in this whole situation is like, if you have to worry about your wife or husband. Going for your money, I yeah, think you, you should reconsider that that marriage. I, I mean, well, it's late now. No, but the, no, but the, the switch up. It's a little too late now. People have different plot times. Like the switch up happened. There's some plot times. No, like <laughs> when people are plotting, no, you, you, you won't you know see what? the move like yeah right away. Like the fact that yeah. he changed his accounts to have his mom sign be the signatory. Okay, allegedly, right? These are all alleged claims. But the fact that she is now the person who owns his payroll. Like, like we're going deep. Like, literally the actual news article, I forget which one I was reading, mm -hmm. said that he had no money. Right. He so had no money. Like, so if he had... The marriage. Right. So if he had no money, one, how is he paying for things? Probably just makes a phone call and just be makes like... A call. Just makes a phone call. Mom gets the money... And then who is also paying for it? His wife? Was he no, e-transferring the wife the money? Her, like, remember, it's still no, I, I, the man's money. No, it's just, yeah, I think he just makes a call. It's just being held somewhere else. Yeah. Right, somewhere but... Whatever he feels like. Yes, understood. Anytime. Completely understand. But on paper, it's not his money. Technically it is, though. It's just going to his mom's account. It's not his money. On paper, it is not his money because then the whole con like the whole conversation about how he has no money and her then being the sole proprietor and or sole um uh high like breadwinner would then be placed on paper. But because he has no money, because nothing's under his name, he technically doesn't have money. Yes, I understand. Figuratively he does. It's just right. going through mom's bank account. But he technically on paper has no money right but it's his money yeah he could claim it whenever he wants to but then you'd have to prove that any transactions were made right now it would just look like mom had given you loans that's funny mm -hmm. I, 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 see, I see what you're saying yeah. like yeah yeah i see what you're saying like There's you actually so never had money your mom was giving you money like an allowance it's your money but, here's but it thing. was like an allowance I do believe mm. at the same time, I would think maybe dynamics would change if that financial question was asked. But I feel like because everything was all fine and dandy, you guys just go out and go get married. If you don't know how the money's coming, where's the money's going? And if he looked at his account and said, wait, why is your account still at zero? Because you know, if you're married, you're going to have joint accounts. Right, I would right. assume. If. And that's, again, we're going to say is a so, cultural thing. Well, the joint, so joint accounts. That's a cultural out, thing. Like, it's like, okay, you bought, but you know what I mean? Sometimes people, people get clouded by the glitz and gamma. I don't know how to get it from, you know? Why do you think some scammers are so successful? Wow. Oh, okay. The glitz and glamour. It looks like they, you don't ask them where you get their money from. You're living off freely and then you find out. Next you know, the FBI is at your house. That's, you know what? Know that, or you get, your door gets kicked down. <laughs> your door gets kicked down. Don't wake up and then I sleep. Project, project. All the, them day all the way like, naked. You, you don't even get to put on no geez, undergarments. Geez, they catch you in the worst compromisable position. Like, you know what I mean? Sleeping well, it looks good. Look at all these people that are scamming all days. Oh, yeah. I bought this trading thing for 32000 and I'm my my buddy over here makes fifty thousand in, in in four hours, just by quitting his full time job. 
which is scammer, scammer. <laughs> it's glitz and glamour. It mm-hmm. sounds amazing. It looks amazing. And if you just follow that and you don't see the foundation of what's going on, that's what happens. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she got married because of the glitz and glamour. We don't know. We don't know. Because another thing I read ahead, um, the mother in particular, the mother ha- should have had the the sixth sense that he did because she's like, no, 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 and this particular thing, girl, so- let me let me do this, this, let me put in. Name, this. I don't, I don't, tra- I don't, because some- tra- you know some uh, some others they look some out, right? Do have that sixth sense. No, I don't, I don't trust her. Put put I don't know about this one, put son. it put it in my da, 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 and then okay. But I thought, for me, the first thing that came to my mind was a culture thing. Yeah. I thought, like, culture. I didn't think of the mom being like, well, put it in my name or whatever. Mm-hmm. Even though, like, there's certain businesses that, like, yo, they'd be like, yo, they're coming for me, man. Mm-hmm. And it was like, all right, well, give me the ownership and I'll, you know, make sure you're good. Right. You know what I mean? Which, so, did, you, did you know that when Hulk Hogan was going through his divorce... Hulk yeah, Hogan Hulk sold. Hogan, that's the first, yeah. He sold his image and likeness, the name Hulk Hogan, to Eric Bischoff for one dollar, so that when the divorce is over, allegedly, Eric Bischoff would sell it back to Hulk, so that way he can make money off his name. Because if he didn't do that, his wife would have got the the image and likeness of Hulk Hogan. Mm-hmm. So from merchandise. Mm-hmm. Uh, even even if he. Even if you think about to this day, Image of Life, you know, she were making up Image of Life. Right, yeah. WWE still makes money off of John Cena's name. Did you see what I'm saying, right? So Hulk Hogan had to be like, uh, uh, okay, some, okay, here, 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 brother, here for one dollar, I'm just gonna, uh, just, just take it for now. We're gonna wait till everything. I wish I had the, the, the beer. That's it, we're gonna take everything down. I'm just gonna wait until this thing cools off and then sell it back in. Yeah. That's wild. Just to avoid like pain, right? Listen, he had, he, had, comes, he, had, to, he had to go comes. back. He had to go back and wrestle again. Like, like that's like, crazy. I think he was struggling for a no. Bit. Honestly, no. Because even thinking about it, like okay, divorce altogether. It's vicious. It just divorce says is vicious. It tells yeah. me how much you actually care about the person. That's one and two, that you lacked understanding of like equalness. And fairness in your relationship. Amen. All that goes out the window. That's what I mean. Like all it's... that goes out the window. When it's a divorce, especially if it's a, if it's not like a healthy one, it'll get well, straight. Listen, sometimes some people yeah. like, I should have just stayed with you to deal with this. Oh, you know I mean? they. It's like, so are you saying the same? It's crazy. cheaper to keep her. Some people. Or him? Sometimes, it's cheaper yeah. to keep. That's hilarious. Mm. I'm not gonna say that, but that, that is. That, that's the same. It's just cheaper to keep her. Right? Because after that you pay for the lot. Lo- that is quite clever. Yeah, but- because you have to think of it. You're now paying for uh the finance. You're paying for the lawyer, Ooh. and you're paying for somebody else Ooh. to separate your assets. Yeah. Because you can't sit down and have a conversation, a fair right. one. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Mm. Exactly, and those, then those watching, the, lawyer, the lawyer goes, let's think about it, like, now the lawyer goes to whoever and be like, oh, that's how much you get it? You don't even get more money off of this. Yeah, and, see, sometimes the lawyers don't instigate tell. it, too. Like, uh, like um, <laughs> a divorce uh, family lawyer, they instigate it. Mm-hmm, they do. This ain't no Judge Judy divorce court type thing. They'll be like, hey, you know you could get this? Have you heard of the word alimony? Yeah, yo. No, I have not heard of it's that. Like, how That's long stuff. have you been? But of course, there are statutes that constitute to why you would be eligible for these things or eligible to claim these things. Right. Right. So, like, say for example, if you did um, alimony, obviously that person was probably not working. Right. They had been set up to be like this, where the partner who was making the money told them to stop working. They stopped working due to children. They stopped working because they were managing whatever's at home, but they themselves were not having an actual income. So everything was based off of the person supplying it for them, but they never received any form of safety or security except for the physical, tangible items, not money or cash itself. Right. But, you know, the harsh reality, sometimes just those physical items is their sense of security. Yo, Hold this bracket. We're gonna be married forever. 
Yes, we are. Or oh, this, oh, this car. Yo, you know what I mean? It's literally a yeah. material thing until, you know. They're not marriage, seeing the actual. The horse yeah. kicks in and it's like. The car is no longer car accessible. I need to survive. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't have the car no more. <laughs> and that's the thing. And then that's when things come to play. What it's usually when things start to fall apart, you start seeing the, 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 the truth of things. Yes. Mm. Oh, so you never liked me anyway. Untethering. <laughs> oh, but no, know. you know what? I think that's also <laughs> another reason why divorce is divorce is actually very interesting. No, like for real, like divorce so, yeah. is very interesting because even saying that, right? person gets the car it's like babes you could have the car i got this car uh -huh. for you this person never paid insurance never paid for gas they don't have money they, they, never they, pay yeah. for insurance never pay for gas never pay for the car's maintenance or anything like that no washes no nothing just that person right when they get into a divorce now they're like oh but you put the car into my name the person's and like that's the thing it becomes a thing mm -hmm. where and that's right, the right, battle right. between you know, ownership of what some people do for the kindness of their heart. Like, I don't want the car back. You know, mm. you know, like you have situations like I loved you and this is why I'm giving you this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But right. sometimes it's like, hey, if you can't have it and we can't do this, give it back. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what I mean? beautiful segue, because the second uh, part, I did there. you see what I did there too. The, eh? the beautiful uh, <laughs> segment of this is uh, the second clip. That's also going viral. You showed me, it was, um... What was it, Love is Blind? Love is Blind, yes. yes. I Where... don't watch that show, but... I, oh, I watched Love is Blind Brazil, actually, but I didn't watch the latest oh, episode. We found but this one... Clip you guys sent me. Where is it? Now, for those uh, listening, sometimes, like, when you, when, you, when you give something away, like... Should you ask for it back? Should you ask for it? Yeah, should you ask for it back? Should you Actually, ask for oh, it back? That is the age no, old here's, here's the thing, thing. I swear Quavo had that same issue with the car. Oh, right? don't even bring that. Oh, this guy. Oh, man. Quavo and uh, Sweetie? Oh, no. With the whole car thing and you buy the whole car as a gift. And you know what's the thing? I've learned from Judge Judy and people's courts when things are considered as a gift, you can't get it back. You can't get it back. Yeah, that's... That's Fact. tough, man. That's, uh, I remember I used to be like, I used to watch the I never understood that. Because the man's like, I want my, da -da -da -da, or the woman, like, I was like, no, it's considered as a gift. It's a bunch of baloney. So that can't be back. Oh, it's shoot, a wow. Gift. And Judge Judy yeah, Judge will tell you straight, too. And Judge Judy will say it straight. And then you'll see them people like, they just have to eat that. And I'll be like, no, what? <laughs> that was the counter suit. <laughs> Not the counter suit. It was a Not gift. The now in the in the clip, um, this this idiot I call him an idiot. Um, <laughs> you call him an idiot? No, because like he was going for someone that doesn't like him. And well, how did he, but here's the thing: how do you how do you, how did he know that? He was no, he was caught up in the glitz and glamour. I, I, he probably, I don't the thing about because I watch Love Is Blind Brazil, and that's all I need to know about this show. Yo, okay. <laughs> So, and I realized that, you know, okay. a lot of things change when the veil is covered. Well, th this one was a little, a little, ugh, it was interesting. Like, so, the character's name is Marshall. I don't remember what the, who the lady he had uh, made as a fiancé was. Marshall um, and her name, whatever her name is, the fiancé, decided to sit down and she confessed her feelings. Oh, what does it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But she confessed her feelings to Marshall, saying that she is, she can't marry Marshall because she's still in love with Josh. <laughs> what? Yes. So, so, hold on. So she can't marry Marshall. Yes. Right. And then she, they had recently, so Josh and the fiance had recently had a conversation. And he had also professed or professed his feelings. Yes. So. Okay. okay, thank you. Now. Is it one of those things where, wait, so, because I remember in the show they had like the pods and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So literally, so you're basically saying like, he proposed to the girl, she said yes. Mm-hmm. 
because I know they had the pods where they get to talk to each girl or mm-hmm, talk to each mm-hmm. guy or whatever. Right. So some chemistry, you know, not being seen or whatever. So I guess this was after the veil, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm, like, yeah. Like, when everybody this is sees after each the veil. other. Yes. He proposes. Yes. She says yes. Yes. But then she... I want to know what Josh is continuing to talk to the next man? Yeah. Is that what's going on? Yeah. And that chemistry is going on, then she's like, all right, man, I have to go back to this guy. Damn, I forgot about this guy. Damn, I forgot about this guy. Yeah. Yo. That's basically it. And Yo. she basically said, I don't want to get married. And so oh, Marshall no. asks for the ring back. Oh, no. And she's like, no, I don't think I should give you the ring back. I should keep it. What? No. Here's what? My here's my thing. Here's my thing. What? Here's my thing. Okay. Let's 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 let's, let's what? Because based off the clip, I'm only going based off the clip. Okay. He asked. He asked her for the ring. Mm-hmm. They said she said it's not gonna work. We mm-hmm. try to get married. Mm-hmm. He asked for the ring back. Mm-hmm. She says no because I accept the ring. Mm-hmm. What BS. You, yeah. BS at its finest. Mm-hmm. We don't see even more BS. Him saying, all right, well, just keep the ring. Yeah. yeah that's that's, ring. that's why yeah. I call him an idiot. That's why I go, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, that's not a part of the show. That's why I call him an idiot. Okay, uh, if you, that's why you're calling him an idiot. It, it, you know no, it, it, was a, it was a multi-layered okay. idiot. Like It wasn't just like this simple, like... Drewski hands in the air. Hey, man. Ah, like, like, he was not trying to have any smoke, okay? Keep the, keep the have ring. Any, have any smoke. Take the what? I left the what? She said she was just trying to find out what she could find out with Josh, okay? That doesn't mean so that she did didn't want to marry him. What are you saying to me right now, Zeke? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying that I just want to talk to him for a bit, okay? Okay. What if he wants to give that ring to somebody else? I mean, ending his season of the show. Well, you see how selfish this could be. I mean, oh, you're you're ending, you're ending his season because I I don't think he could get two rings in the show. That's yeah, a lot of money. Is there, is there a recession right now? That's a lot of money to get a second ring. There's a recession. You he know should I mean? wait okay, but then she falls isn't, asleep. Isn't and, that um, saying the same thing what she's saying, though, but just covertly? Give me the ring back so I can give it to the next girl that I actually had feelings for? Okay. Yes. No, but yeah, like... Yes. Y- yoink. Can I get this back? Get so I can off. give it to somebody else? Can give it to somebody else, yeah. Right? And then what she's saying is exactly that, but overt. She's like, no, yeah, you... she's just saying it in a different way. Same thing. Just well, being said differently. Part of the show is you have to give her the ring to someone that's going to... Like, I don't hear someone say yes, and then if it says no, is it... Like, do you know the travesty this is going to cause if people believe this is okay? Yo, I yeah. want to see if... Jo- what jo- <laughs> who does, What does Josh look like? Okay, let's... We need to find out who Josh is, because... Why is she saying no to, to Marshall? Marshall's a good looking guy. Oh, I mean, you know what? It does matter. I'm not even thinking about. I'm it kind of. For me, it's just the genre of the show. Because that man season, that is going to be an ugly reunion. <laughs> they said that reunion's on, on, uh, on Netflix now. But I heard it's buffering. Like, I heard people are still waiting for it to go live. <laughs> it's still. Wow. Yo, after well, seeing you know, that I, clip, they're I probably think, losing I it. Think, Yo, know, I think but. Why? Fighting right now. Yeah, the show is buffering. You, you think, you think you're gonna have me look like that in the Season three. Uh, I don't know how it works for these shows if it's like on live. I think, assuming that it's live, I'm thinking that it's. I, I don't know if I remember the whole season comes out at once. I don't know if it came out at once. Not down. But if someone in like, someone knows, like you ever heard from G's to gents? You remember G's to gents? Ooh. Okay, now I know why. <laughs> to Jens, when they did the reunion, Wait. what happened was one of the guys knocked out the guy during the reunion. That's Marshall. But the reason That's why Marshall. he did it, because he went back home, and the people, like, I guess his brethren to them, were like, yo, you can't have that guy punk you on the set. Right. So... That's crazy. Like, Yo, you gotta do something oh. about that. Oh, that's funny. And he's like, all right, I got you when I go back to the reunion. And that's what happened. And that's what happened. Okay, but then so... this was the other part for me because I was making jokes about this. And not no offense, like I get people. People should so, definitely so have a high level of self-esteem and everything like that. 
But I hate when people try to do this whole like mic drop where they're like, you'll never find another person like me. You're passing up on a good thing. It's like, baby, baby, baby. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> In the Australia, Australia of life, you can't say that about like anybody right? nowadays. Exactly. Because some people be like, yeah, you'll never find someone like me. I'm like, it may be true. Yeah. Some people will find less and be okay. Yeah. Some people will find more and some, be okay. Wait, yeah. wait. Some will find Happiness less happens. and be okay? Some people will find less some and be okay. Some people will find yes. less and be okay. Yeah, it's because they didn't happy. need. Some people will find more and more. be okay. And that's, it's, it's, it's ah, ah, they didn't need, okay. I'll well, slip. That's a terrible side of like this reality TV stuff. Like, it's like, I, I don't know. It's weird. You know what I mean? Right. That is some people's lives though. But no, now that I've seen Josh, I get it. Oh, wow. You see, mm. now, like, you see, you see that, I get it. So, but, but you don't get, do you get why Josh, I mean, the other guy wants his ring back? Uh, yeah, you could get your ring back. I could under, I totally understand why he would get his ring back. That's the whole, isn't that just having your own cake and eating it too? It is. But she said she wanted the, that ring. So part of me, part of me feels like she's like, you're a safety. She really does love Ooh. Marshall, oh. but the reason why she's not giving it back oh. is because she's like, if my feelings get hurt with Josh, I want to be able to know that I that you're there. The Yo, you know what this reminds me of? Back burner. You know what this reminds me of? You ever seen? she put him on the back burner. You ever heard that story? He's the first like the scenario when it's like they're trying to find someone to blame, like the one where it's like two people on the cliff. Yes. And they say it's not working out, so they both have to jump. Yes. And the relationship. So the guy says, we're going to jump in three, two, one. Right. The girl jumps. The guy doesn't jump and starts crying. But the girl has a parachute. Yes. Oh, okay. The so trail. Who, who is the most, like, what was it? Trustworthy or untrustworthy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or a lot, like, this a lot like it's this is what it's coming down some to some people yeah outdoing I mean? the outdoer outdoing the outdoer. but are we outdoing but i do believe based off what the little information i know mm-hmm. i think that 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 woman um this should give back the man the ring so he could continue his episode on the show i don't know if the show's over i don't know what's going on yo but that, uh, i think he, he, he should give him back the ring. If you want to go try it, was it Josh? Mm-hmm. Go deal with Josh. Go do what you want to do, but give the man his ring. I just didn't like how the man just said, well, you can just take the ring. Excuse me? That's not, nah, you don't, like, nah, you can't, you I can't, never, you, like, you can't I'm, go on I'm like that, to, no. I'm not used to hearing, it just sounds weird that someone still wants to hold on to something that you thought was something, but it's not because you saw someone else and said, Hey, you know, it's weird. It's like I wonder if it's, that's the thing. I wonder if it's on the same now, level. Let's, let's say she comes back and says, "I want to get married." Now you know why she's coming back because she couldn't get Josh. Yeah. Like, and well, I still have the ring. And he'll be stupid enough to take her back. He will take her back. But I mean, she still said yes. And she's no, but, that's, but I don't know, man. She said I yes, and then she went, know. "Uh, wait a minute." She did wait, say, so "Wait a minute." Wait, hold on. But she did, did she say, still say yes to, she said yes to Josh or the next man. She said yes to Marshall. So that's the guy who proposed to her. Right. So why did y'all say this before I got it to my whole shenanigans? Well, oh wait, oh oh, you're talking about the ending of the, like oh oh, saying yes yes, but yeah. like after she said no. So after when they went live, like they seen each other now, she's like talking to him and she's like, I don't think I can marry you. Mm. Oh lord. Right. But then, but the whole conversation doesn't actually say she's not wanting to marry him. She's just saying, I don't think I can marry you. Which is really the same, she's saying the same thing. But it's really the same thing. No, what does not. the can make any difference than I don't think I can marry you, then I don't want to marry, like... The I don't want to marry you is very different from I don't think I can marry you. Is it, is it a difference? It's very different. No. Now, James, now, now, pause for a second. Let me just, let me just do a technical, a technical thing just real quickly. I'm just going to. 
Okay, now re now repeat uh, the ridiculousness you just said. My analogy? Yes. It's saying want and can are two different things. And the way I'm saying it is um, the difference. It's like I don't want to go to the washroom. Okay. Versus I don't know if I can go to the washroom. But that that's... What? That's the same... Wait, so you're saying... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're My different. Brain, let, me, let me repeat what you just said. Mm -hmm. So... I don't want to use the washroom. Wait, I don't want to use... Okay, I don't want to mm -hmm. marry you. And I don't think I can marry you is not the same thing. They're not the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? There's a lot of logic that I don't understand. <laughs> no, I like that doesn't... Alone, and, I, and there's some things I drew ski, throw my hands up, and I say, okay. Ah, no, it's, a, it's like a... Know. It's like a thesaurus to me. Like That's it's, hilarious. Like, no, it's the same thing. Like the washroom. I'd be, I'd be okay, I don't alone. want to go to the washroom. Is like I don't want to. Like okay, I, I don't. The activity is a choice. Like me personally, I don't want to go there. Like I don't want to take my legs, move over, and use it. Okay. Even though its function is for what I need to do, I don't want to go. Okay. But Versus, I don't think I can. It's different. Because now your ability doesn't seem like it's yours. Whether it's a disability, whether it's an actual, like, I may need assistance. Maybe it's, you know, but the, the hopes but, and wanting to go use it is definitely still there. But you just don't think you can actually get there. No, but, the, but because, okay. Oh, uh, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> no, 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 but like, the reason you can't get there is because like, she was infatuated with Josh, right? Right, but that was after talking. No, to but her. after, after, yeah. Right. So beforehand, and I think really what did it was she had her feelings for Josh in the first place, right? Which is the the whole. So that's the whole right? thing. thing. Yeah. So she she had feelings for Marshall. She had feelings for Josh. But the way that Josh was going on, I guess Josh. Josh, Josh lyrics. Yeah, Josh, Josh didn't. Right. No, but Josh at first in the pods wasn't giving her anything for her to say yes. Right? Okay. So when now outside of it, she's married and she wants to marry, she wants to marry Marshall. But now with Debatable. the new information with Josh, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm in a rock and a hard place because I want to marry you, but I also want to entertain Josh. Mm. And that is the part where it's like, I don't think I can marry you because my heart is split in two places when it's not completely Yo. devoted to you. And that is not okay. If some of you are nausea at home, hey man. If some of you have, <laughs> if some of you have PTSD. Not PTSD. Oh, Why man. are people having so, trauma? No, but that's a, like, <laughs> like PTSD Sometimes from like... You just have to leave people... Leave people pick me alone. But that's not a part of marriage. You're supposed to love people through their ups and downs. But they're not married yet. So if you see that up and down, you have a choice to not be a part of it. This is true. You do have a choice. It's like Josh did a, a an invisible wedding crash. Yo, Josh is a manipulator. That's what it seems like. Josh somehow figured it out. And I don't know what. You don't, like, you don't really I, love him. You don't really... Hey. Who don't really What's the guy's him? name? Marshall. Name? Marshall. Marshall. Marshall, you matter. So. <laughs> oh. Okay. To, Marshall matters. You need to figure it out. Marshall. And, and okay, I, 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 got, I got Go the get ring back. <laughs> I, I got the bars. Okay. But hey, hey, go get your ring back because you don't want to be at the end of the day doing them Eminem raps. You don't want to be. You don't want to be feeling like you know. I am whatever you say, I am. Or I mean, and, he, and, she and, could keep the ring, and then he sues her. Like that could also work. I mean, you can't sue on a love is blind is not that deep. <laughs> love is blind is really not that deep. But it's that it's deep now because no. that's his whole life right there setting up. Can, like what? I he can say um. Uh, he can say I she stole could, it. I could just see the production team. <laughs> I had to see the production team's face. And I was like, can I get my ring back? And she's like, I feel like I should have it. And I said, keep the cameras rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. rolling. Suspension music. Hit it now. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, 
Yeah. Man turns around and he gets up near Gabriel. Catch Marlon's face. Catch Marlon's face. Catch his face. We want to see the pain. Show us the pain. No, he should take her to small claims court. Be like, no, this this heifer stole my ring. Small claims court. Nah, this heifer stole my ring. I paid. I I paid this much for it. I want it back. What is, what is what is how much money is small claims court? Thirty thousand. No, it's 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 a pretty significant. Yeah, like you can. But what if it was more than thirty thousand? And then he's and a then double I'll, idiot. Ooh, is that like more than thirty thousand dollars? He's a double idiot. Put him to small claims court. times two. Some people don't know that. Some people on the internet don't know like how much small claims court. Uh, look at this broke boy trying to get his ring back. That's yo okay. She's not gonna win in any way, shape, or form in this situation. Man. He, I mean, he could. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. I get it. Listen, go get your Infinity Stone back. I mean, he could always say it was fraud. And, 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 and he could, yeah. <laughs> he could make a fraud. Yes, he could make sir, a fraud claim. Sir, yeah. Sir, you're going to need some counseling. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> don't even try to get married. He's going to need some counseling. For him to sit through that and then go through the internet and all them people talking about him. and all the, You're going to need some counseling. Don't even, don't even, love is blind. I mean, right now. anybody who is on this show all together should be seeing some form of something because uh, well, the fact that you think that all it takes is a TV show, a few lights, someone, a producer saying go, and you sitting in a dark room with somebody else on the other side and you hearing their voice and just being like, oh my God, I'm in love. But this is America. Sultry. How do you think Catfish was created? What? Wait, wait, Catfish what? The show. How, do, how do you think oh, Catfish okay. was created? Yeah. How do you think all these, this is America, these things don't make sense. But it's like the fact that people think that that's what love is and how it works. What you know I what? It still plays on the whole fairy tale idea of like mm. what Disney has produced. That's the most dangerous thing. Don't, that... Put, that on, don't, don't put that on Disney's jacket. No, no but it, no, it is. On, on his Kirk Tales? Dis- I'll put it on his Kirk Tales. Don't, 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 put it on, don't put it on Disney's no, jacket. No, but... Disney love. Love things make some kind of sense. Mm, no, yeah, no, of no, course, no, the morale kind of stuff. Sense. The morale stuff definitely makes sense. Don't get me wrong. But off of the way that it's done sometimes, the love itself, who, who, well, I mean, who is going to find their wife and their husband in a room when you don't see the person? Like, literally, it's love at first sight. Like, I'm walking down the street. Oh, my God, it's, she's so beautiful. You're my wife. Like, what? Like, like that's... They, and this is what happens when you take terms and flip them. <sighs> you take terms and flip them. You know they say love is blind. Okay. I mean it could it could it could have went away. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm not getting us canceled today. But I'll just say like love is blind. That term could be used very worsely if they wanted to. Of course. But they chose to use it this way with, you know, people not being able to see each other. Yes, and, and talk to see each, each other. other. And sometimes, I remember, was it? Love is blind Brazil. Sometimes, I just it's like, man, like... can you imagine people see each other, the veil comes down, they're just like, oh, that was you back there. That's mm-hmm. you. Uh, you see because I'm seeing these people, they put their hand on the wall, kiss up wall or hug wall, and I'm like, guys, Millions and millions are seeing this. You know this, right? Which is why, when I seen a study that said um, online dating is number one, I'm just like, with with all the catfishing and the people putting their best picture, but it's just it's just one frame. Like you don't. It's not you their don't, whole side. It's not the whole side. Online dating. <laughs> <think online dating. laughs> no, no, yeah, you don't see the 360 view. Like you don't. Online dating is number one because you could you could still play an image of somebody. Which is. Which goes these back to filters, storytelling. These filters are madness. Yeah, you can put bass in your voice. You can, you can, like, someone else could be typing, say this. Someone is voice this fishing. This is true. You hear that? And especially you when you have AI, AI now. You yeah. finally oh. see the person. Oh, you finally see the person or you finally experience that person. And then you're just like, wait, hold on. Where's your, huh? That was like. You said you were, you said you were six feet. That was like ninety five eleven. No, that wow. you know what? This reminds me wow. of a girl who catfished her own friend. Who wait? Catfished her, her own, own friend. friend. Yes. So yes. she she's friends with this guy, and she is head over here. She's like they had a great um, first time. Da da da. And their relationship built from that. 
But then she like pursued him. Okay. And he was like, oh, we're friends. So he just kept pushing the whole like, but we're friends, right? Right. And she's like, but every time she would meet the girls that he would like date or talk to and whatever. And she's like, two seconds later, they're dumping each other. Like she would dump him and like just move on with life. And she's like, oh, these girls would never treat him right, right? Right, right, right. But then because he would come back to her and tell her all about it and they still had this great dynamic. She's like, well, clearly I'm the person you're supposed to be dating because... Mm. You just... lead one with... Right? <laughs> My girl went because he was not catching up on her, like now pushing on and pursuing. Right. She went and made a whole account, a fake account, with bo- parts of her face. Parts. And she... Modified it. Yeah, she modified it so it looked like the girls that he would date. Right. And she posted all these pictures, modified pictures. And these were pictures that she had just modified so she would look oh, more the evil. like the evil. girls. That's diabolical. Went and chat the man yeah. up. The man was a girlfriend. That was his girlfriend for two months. The longest relationship he had out of all the girls that he was there picking. Like, like long distance, because... Yeah. Because, yeah. And she's like, oh, this, that, and the third. And he's there, big time, full on, in love with this girl. And then realized that he was being catfished by his own best friend. Now, hold on. He, like, he, like, he was typing one day, Rick, and he was like, wait, something's not... Brought on the show. They brought him on the show. They brought, oh. And he found out that that was who was catfishing oh. him. Because he was like, why can I never meet you? Why can I... So he wanted to figure out who the girl was. So he set up the girlfriend. That's so unfortunate. But man. really, he was the one getting catch, caught, caught up or, you yeah, know, yeah. getting set up because it's his best friend who was the one who's catfishing him. Yo, that's But his just... longest relationship. And the thing is, at the end of it, Yo. she's like, I was myself during the whole time of the conversation. She's like, you fell in love with the look instead of the person. Oh, okay. She's what? like, it's the same person. But some people would be shallow like that, though. Some people would be shallow. Yeah. I mean, look at the girl in Josh. Shallow. Based on what you're telling me. I'm... It can't be... It can't be... It can't be shallow because... Clearly, she feels some type of way towards Josh after not seeing him in the pod for how long? And still liking him anyways. So, it's a shallow thing. I like you, but I don't want to I'm just saying, I am saying, ooh, I understand. <laughs> wow. So basically. I think maybe looks wise is more up her alley of who she would be more attracted to. That's it. But probably personality wise, she would marry Marshall. So she would marry Marshall based off personality and the fact that he would be a husband. But who she wants to entertain and flirt with and whatever would be Josh. Oh, so while uh, so, uh, he's at home just, I don't know, like reading newspaper. Aye, aye, aye. Um, she's getting put in a 630 by Josh. I mean. And then Josh would send her back home and then she would kiss him full on the mouth. I said send good. her back home. Send her, send her Guys, back home. we got to do better, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but th- so unfortunately this is... Um, this is some real life thing. Oh, like I'm gonna go on a vacation trip yeah, by myself a week or two, and then it, okay, let's uh, future stuff. She let's say she does marry the safe guy because that's how she's treating him, the safe guy. Safe. Mm-hmm. And then she starts going on trips. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm with my girlfriends, or I'm going with my sister and everything. And then slowly he finds out she would go on. Uh, what's the, what's the word? Uh, vacation. Vacation, with 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 Josh. Mm-hmm. Like the cake and eat it too thing, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes the safe person can't be the daredevil, and the daredevil can't be the safe person sometimes. I wonder. If, what, you see, you know, wait, wait. when I hear this, I just hear like the whole cons, like the whole aspect of like, how do you put it? Some people date, like, I guess it's just the whole, like, some people be thrill-seeking. You are. And then and then not realizing, <laughs> hey, that thrill, you're going to burn your whole life to shambles for, for, for what? 
I what? wonder. Hold on. I wonder if people. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder if people should be yeah. more honest. You wait. basically had the ring of solidarity. Take as you will, because love is blind. Right. But but maybe the chemistry is different. I don't know. Maybe some people like that chemistry, the chemistry, and then, man, this is this is why these shows are problematic. This is why these shows are problematic. Mm -hmm. No, I'm I'm wondering if people should be more honest and be like, I'm just gonna marry you for this, this, and this, and I'm just gonna have this person. Fun. Can you imagine if those are just so weird? This is like, a very honest. Like, you. people can't handle that, especially guys. I get, yeah. Guys can't handle being oh. the, the safe person. They want to be the fun. They always oh, want to oh, be the fun. Oh, they want to be the fun. Yeah. Girls yeah. can accept being the safe person more than a guy can accept being the safe guy. You know what? Because I, I don't it. think... No, no, no. It's... I don't think this one goes like, I want to marry you because you're... I want to marry... If a guy tells a girl, I want to marry you because you're safe. Mm. That... It's not because you... Not because I love you because you're safe. No, that is what you love about no, that person. Yeah, like, yeah. That they I love are safe. That you're safe. Yeah. That, that's still an asset type thing, though. It's not like I love you because I love you. Right. Well, yeah, love they you love you, you because safe. they love you, but they love you because they know, like, you're a safe person. Like, I can come home, I know for sure you're going to be here, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I can come well, home can... and I can build with you. You know, I know for sure that I can cook for you and it doesn't feel any type of way. I'm not going to feel any type of emotional trauma or drama or anything Yo. like that. Like, you're safe. But it doesn't mean you love the person. You probably just love the person because it's safe. I am comfortable. And when I'm, you know what I mean? When I'm, when I'm touring the country... So um, what would you prefer in a relationship? Hey, it's right about me. I'm <laughs> just saying. No, I'm but even, even in, a general, in a general sense, like, if you're not getting comfort from your partner, what are you then looking for? Thrill seeker? No, that, no, 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 but... no. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying some people, some people's safety can belong in finance, as you can see from that last from, relationship. From the last relationship. Some people's right. safety can be in. Yes. Oh, they could protect me if someone kicks down the door. Yes. Is this someone's safety could be? Oh, I know I'm gonna get a hot meal because of this. Because I'll be able to eat. Yes. But what happens if that stops? Do you still love that individual? A lot of a lot of marriages mush up because something. It's either they realize something or something stops. Right. And then it's a and then it's a whole you know. Right. You said before marriage you were gonna be this. Yeah, but it's like. Wait, but you did see you were like this, and now look at you, look at you. And You're not the same you. anymore. That's the commitment. You know what I mean? Yes. Now. Seeing we're, we're flashing right now, we're just gonna quickly wrap up these these two sag, uh, two sad uh, relationship segments. I I, I, I just, really I just wish them the best. I yeah. Um, the Bible says love is love is patient, kind. It doesn't brag or boast. And um, man, get your ring back. That that individual that doesn't doesn't have any of those markings and and what it says in the man. Bible, take it as you will. Because people don't believe in the Bible nowadays, so choice is yours. The way? Anyway, continue. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Um, <laughs> this wraps up uh, this episode. Uh, I want to thank for those that are listening. Um, and hopefully you learned something of uh, what not to do. Uh, <laughs> Nerd C, you got, the, you got the any plugs for us this week? I am just plugging my Self, um, definitely go and check out my Instagram at the Nerd Z with three Z's, T H E N E R D Z Z Z, and definitely find me on my photography page. Follow my gallery of work, um, and if you're interested in working with me and you'd like to book some time, definitely reach out, and I'll be able to give you some quotes on my numbers of my work and what it is and what it do. And you can find that page at triple Z dot studio T O Z Z Z dot S T U D I O T O on Instagram as well. Right. And uh, yeah. Uh, Del Nigero, D E L N I J I R O. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, that's it for me, yeah. James. Um, uh, you can follow me, Jay Hunterville on Instagram. 
Um, yeah, um, Lou Pistol's on Twitch. I'm currently on hiatus because I'm out the country. Right. Um, and I have other issues I got to deal with. So uh, I guess when I'll be back, I'll be back. I guess I'll be better than I, I was when I was gone, I guess. Uh, uh, what? Um, okay. I that's... mean, I guess, huh? you know, I'll probably come back with a whole, like, you know, who knows why I'm in my uh, in Orlando, you know? You know, maybe I'll come back with, with veneers, like the celebrities, all whites, all white veneers, porcelains, the porcelain. Please, in life, <laughs> never get the porcelains. The porcelain fives, don't get those. I'm not gonna cover the porcelains. I heard, I heard a lot of people are getting their tummy tucks nowadays. So, you know. Wow. You know, I heard uh, the surgeries. That's what they're saying. I'm definitely not here for that. But anyway. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um. That, that's 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 so like that. Uh, that's all I gotta say here. I'll oh, say. Okay. Um, so, oh. Are you doing? A, you're doing a drop. I'll do the drop. It's up to you. Um, uh you can do. You can do the drop. From from okay. the land down, kind of under, from, kind, from, kind of south. From down under. Um, uh, uh, oh wow! Uh, it's like I'm down here and I forgot everything. <laughs> um, Senator, if you have any comment, concerns, complaints, send to asevent at gmail dot com. We're on all podcast streaming platforms. If we're not there, let us know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hey, yo, collaborations, let's get it, you know? Summer is about to look nice, spring is about to look nice, you know? Let, let, let's, 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 let's join forces. Mm -hmm. Fusion Ha. Um, uh, whoever is here, thank you guys for watching. You guys be safe. And guys, hey, man, be safe on the road, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Be safe on the road. It's, you know, you know, just because it's getting hot, people are acting like they're driving like man, man, and people are, are getting into serious injuries and accidents and consequences for that. All right, right so you yeah. guys be safe out there. You know, um, thank you guys for watching. You guys be safe. Um, this is the van, and we out. Peace.